Himachal News Bulletin and in this bulletin you will get today's all the big updates of Himachal Desh in one go. So starting today's bulletin and moving to the first news, next year the annual budget will increase will be 60,000 crores. Next year annual budget will increase in Himachal Desh. With this the budget outlay for the next financial year 2022 and 2023 can also reach around rupees 60,000 crores. The planning department of the state government has sought details of the actual budget for the financial year 2021 and 2022 and the possible budget expenditure of 2021 and 2022 from all the departments in this regard. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin appearing like a genie in election issues. Inflation is now missing. In Himachal Desh in the by-elections for one parliamentary and three assembly seats, inflation is now disappearing by appearing like a genie. Political parties are sparing against each other, neither the opposition is considering it right to raise the issue, nor the ruling party is trying to give a befitting reply to the public. Many items of daily usage including gas cylinders, cement, bars, ration, petrol and diesel have become expensive. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, instruction to police department to monitor cash transaction to liquor. Excise Department. A review meeting was held on Monday with the state nodal officers for the by-election under the chairmanship of Chief Electoral Officer Himachal Desh C. Palsaru. Apart from the police, officers of Excise and Taxation Department and Income Tax Department participated in this. State election security plan prepared by the department was discussed in this meeting to make comprehensive arrangements for checking and prevention at border areas, district or state borders, round-the-clock surveillance at inter-district and inter-state checkpoints and and other entry points and only possible consumption of liquor, drugs, cash, illegal arms, etc. from neighboring states or districts. Moving ahead to the next news. In today's bulletin, only 6,477 quintals of paddy sold in Himachal's center in three days. In Himachal Desh, only 6,477 quintals of paddy have been procured from 107 farmers in Himachal Desh in last three days. Paddy is being procured in 10 markets of the state. 25 slots are being booked daily by the government. In such a situation, paddy should have been procured from 750 farmers. It has been raining in Himachal Pradesh for the last two days due to improper arrangements for the maintenance of paddy procurement markets and lack of sheds at many places. The paddy of the farmers is getting wet in the rain. Moving ahead in today's bulletin, votes for parliamentary seats will be cast for the first time in Tishigang, the world's highest polling station. Voting will be held in the first time in the by-election for Monday parliamentary seat in Tashigan, the world's highest polling station in Himachal Desh Lahore City district. This polling station is at an altitude of 15,255 feet, which is 4,650 meters, just 10 kilometers from the China border. The election commission has declared it a model polling booth here 65 voters will cast their vote. Even though it is getting cold here these days, but the election hustle and bustle is hot here too. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, celebrate to HRTC employees on the first day, payment of over time on 22nd, the season in the meeting. Thousands of employees of Himachal Desh Road Transport Corporation, HRTC will be released pending financial benefits after the by-elections in one parliamentary and three assembly seats of Himachal Desh. It has been decided in the meeting that the salary on the first of every month and the amount of overtime on the 22nd will be paid in any case. Due to this, 12,000 employees of corporation have got relief. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, in Himachal Desh, 23 samples failed, including medicines helpful in the treatment of Corona. The medicine of industries in Himachal Desh, which produce 45% of the drugs in Asia, are not meeting the standard of the Central Drug Standard Controller Organizations. Sample of nine medicines of Himachal have failed in the drug alert of September. 43 drugs across the country have not been able to meet the standards. Within nine months, sample of 58 medicines from Himachal Pradesh alone have failed. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, Chief Mr. Jairam Thakur said, Saraji Nati lasts long. Trouble congressmen will have to bear it five more years. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur had public meetings in Jaj and Sayanj of National Assembly constituency on Monday. In a funny way, he took a jive at the Congress, said that a lot changed during the Corona period. For the last two years, the mask did not come off. Said that we Sarajis have a habit of nutty. None of our work would have been complete without nutty. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, peaks covered with white sheet of snow in Himachal, rain in other parts. 37 roads closed. After the departure of monsoon in Himachal Pradesh, now the process of snowfall has started in the state. Heavy snowfall has been occurring in the higher mountainous part of the state, including Lahore City, for two days. 
Bala Shapas have received 60 cm while Rohtang has received fresh snowfall up to 35 cm. Manali Lake, Grand Kukaza National Highways have been closed. Shinkula of Zanskar, Koksar to Losar and Losar to Chandratal, Kunzum Pass routes have been closed till further orders. After this season open, it will take at least 48 hours to open both the highways. Moving ahead to the next news, in today's Britain, order to demolish the structure of Dhal Bridge to be built with 20 crores. In Mandi, Himachal Pradesh, about 20% of the constructed structure of Dhal Bridge under the construction at a cost of Rs 20 crores will be demolished. So far, PWD has issued the decree for not making the construction according to the drawing. The contractor will also be blacklisted for lapse in work. BBMB has funded for about 20 crores to 156 meter long Dhal Bridge over such in Salford. Moving ahead to the next news in today's Britain, Vijay Mankotia said, I will fight the elections of 2022, my doors open for Congress. Former Minister and Major Vijay Singh Mankotia said that he was hurt by the statement of Pratibha Singh. BJP has made it an issue, this will hurt Congress. He claimed that BJP would win in Mandi, Fatehpur and Arki. The match in Jubal Kotkai is going to be interesting. He said that I will fight the elections of 2022 under any circumstances. Regarding Congress star campaign and Amro Singh Siddhu in the by-election and Kanaya Kumar, who recently joined the Congress, Mankotia said, these people are not right for the country along with the party. Everyone knows how Navjo Singh Siddhu is related to Pakistan. Taking jive at Kanaya, he said that Kanaya will sing the boat of Congress. Moving ahead to the next news, in today's bulletin, Lord Nazima's third jaleb came out in royal style. They will dance to the beat of the musical instruments. The third jaleb of Lord Nursing was taken out on Monday on the fourth day in Mahakum International Dashera Festival of Gods and Goddesses. Going at Dhalpur ground in Kullu, Himachal Desh. Devru also danced on the beat of the musical instruments in Jalil. At the time of Jalil, the rain stopped. A crowd of people gathered to see Jalil. Moving ahead to the next news in today's Britain, Health Department alert on Dengue. 257 cases so far. Dengue is spreading in Himachal Desh. Since January 2021, 257 cases of dengue have been reported in this state. The disease has been confirmed in the highest number of 194 people in Solon. The health department has alerted about the disease. The department says that this disease is caused by the mosquito bite. In such a situation, do not allow dirt and water to accumulate around the house. However, it is a matter of relief for the state that no person has died due to dengue in the state so far this year. Moving on to the next news in today's bulletin, two-stage counselling completed. Classes from November 1st. The two phases of counselling have been completed in the Hydro Engineering College of Bandla. 51 trainees have been selected in these two phases. Four trainees have been selected from industry quota. Now the third round of counselling will be held from October 22 to 25. Classes are expected to start in college from November 1st. First year classes in Hydro Engineering College will start from this year. Civil and electrical trades will be started in this. Moving ahead to the last news of today's bulletin, Himachal government will also now buy maize from farmers at minimum support price. Food, civil supplies and consumer affairs minister Rajendra Gurk said that next year maize will also be procured by the government at the minimum support price for the convenience of the farmers. This facility is being given to the farmers on paddy crop this year. He said that the dream of the Prime Minister is to double the income of farmers by 2022. The state government is also making every effort for this. So that's it for today's Britain guys. We will meet you again tomorrow. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.